Yo, I don't know how Jerry Rice did this for like 20 years. I ain't even 10 years deep yet. And these short weeks killing me. Yeah, man. But apparently, when you're the future of Nike football with all this preferential treatment, you must be feeling real good going into Thursday night games. Yo, I know you ain't been lighting it up like we hope you would. But you see that you still near the top of the league in jersey sales numbers? All the hustling you've been doing for your brand is paying off. And you're gonna turn around on the field real quick. And they're all set as they'll match up with the Jacksonville Jaguars. To my left, Charles Davis. And Charles, you focus on this Bengal team entering play. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the visiting Jaguars, they've got to be pleased with a start to this season. Obviously, a perfect 3-0. and Three good quality wins, too. It's got people in the locker room excited. They're thinking that this could be their year. Last time, see if the, the Jags back to work up by three. Play action. He's going to take it by himself. Look at Stewart. Big run by Stewart. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. First and ten, Stewart out of the gun. Ooh, bad pass, almost intercepted. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and ten. Stewart. Throwing now, Stewart. Sets his man up. First down. He is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 16 yards that time on the pickup. 16 yard pickup. First down. Well, Carter Landry maybe doesn't have the speed he once had in his Longhorn days, but he showed a nice little burst after that catch. Almost like he had a little bit of a throwback there. Stewart out of the gun. First down. He was never really a burner. He did have the ability to outrun linebackers in here. Pass is complete. He looked like the 2014 Carter Landry, and he rumbled for a big gain. Give him nine there on the first down completion. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms. Second is and helpful. one. It certainly is because you got to get up the screen to Robinson. First down. Now you're in scramble drill, so everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Creeping up on Stewart a out of gun. play in this first half. Stewart dancing to his left. Take it by himself, Stewart. Touchdown. Stewart out of the gun. Back to pass. Robinson. And this one will go to the 28 yard line. Well, we've often talked, and rightly so, about how great a story James Robinson was last year. Second and five. Undrafted as a running back to over a thousand yards rushing as a rookie. But what gets lost, especially for Stewart, for big man like whatever, is, Robinson, I should say. And he is stopped in the backfield. And that is not going to get it done either. Once again, he stopped behind the line by this Bengals D. Third and six. Stewart, Stewart to throw it's the block. Flush to his right. He's got his man. First down. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. Stewart out of the gun. Back From to pass. Gun, it's Stewart. Finds his man. That's Robinson. It's a gain of five, and it'll make it second down. 
Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Out of the gun, Stewart, second and five. Throwing Back to pass. Finds Robinson again. That's a first. And he breaks free. First down. Just a terrific run there, Charles, from a running back who is so compact and powerful, and that strength was on display there. Yeah, this defense but Robinson again, right up the gut, gets tripped up. And here's another example. They never should have allowed this play to gain as many yards as it did, but poor tackling early in the play led to big yardage after the fact. And the next-gen stat shows us the tale of how much yardage he was able to pick up after the initial contact. Stewart out of the gun. Second down, here's Stewart. Forced out to his left. Finds his man. First down. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 15-yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense. the gun. First down. Work to this point. You have a vision right now. Back to pass. Pass is complete. And that's enough for a first at the four. None of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Out of the gun, first and goal. Little Robinson, right up the gut. Oh, he stopped in the backfield. going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Out of the gun, Stewart. Looking to throw. Stewart, buying time to his left. Stewart. Touchdown, Jags. Touchdown, Jacksonville. I think streak is about to go to four, but still a little work to do as they go to four. First and ten. Stewart goes to Robinson. Robinson. Up the gut, Robinson. Still on his feet. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident Second and short. On that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, Robinson, big number. Right up the but gut. First down. Because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Robinson. Nice hole. It's a six yard gain Got about six on the play. Second and four. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the Robinson ball. again. Gain some yardage. Oh, nice move. On the defense. Enough Did for a first. Out? What are they going to do to stop you? Uh, you not quite. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it Third does short. is emphasize the strategic Stewart. football and situational football. Is Pass complete. Right first down. Side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Seven catches for him now in this last one. A first down. Stewart. Mr. To Robinson. Oh, still on his feet. 42 yards rushing for him now. Game of seven. A tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter. Looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to. Second and three. Body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips. Their Robinson right, right up the knees. gut. And the guys James Robinson. It out. We've got him now. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, you can't get no less than a three now. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find Down the sideline, inside the 10. And now they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here. First and goal. In the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to touch To the end zone. Touchdown, Jags. A great play there. His first touchdown on the year. The Jags remain unbeaten. Get a win on the road against the Bengals. 
So this will be a win for Jacksonville. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. Seems like you guys have found a new gear and shifted right into it with your win today. Who deserves the credit for this win? We're all just really starting to mess in a way you love to see, but I absolutely love to shut the out the way Carl Landry has been bringing it lately. Any response to credits who are exciting Carter's prior history of a follow-up as a sign of things to come? Keep down them. I know it will fuel whom and it will definitely fuel the rest of us.